Hello everybody, welcome to yet another exciting episode of The Sandbox, the series where we play multiplayer co-op survival adventure creative sandbox games. Joining us, Jake Terrio, how's it going? I'm uh, well, how are you? I don't, that did not sound uh, genuine. Uh, Kyle, are you genuine? <laughs> I'm doing okay. Yeah, I I hope that's genuine. Hey, that's believable. Uh, Will, uh, how you doing, buddy? Everything okay? You know, I'm sorry nah. to hear the news, but I hope you're doing okay. What? What news? It's a bit. Oh yeah. The yes, and? Loss of... yes and uh, yes and yes. First and the, of improv, no, my legs no. are gone. I'm missing my legs now. <laughs> I'm only half a man. Still yeah. got genitals though. Yeah. Uh, speaking of genitals, it's No Man's Sky. Um, have you guys been playing this game since we played last week? Yes. I have. I have not. I have not touched it at all. Uh, I didn't either. I I have um, mostly for prep, but I've actually been getting into it a little bit. It's just kind of a nice like I've got forty minutes. Let me play this game a little bit, you know. Um, but speaking of prep, today's goal is. I want a mech, and I'm super excited. I think I'm all ready for it. Are you guys ready to see my mech? You guys should get mech. mechs too. It's it's actually super easy if you guys want to get mechs. Sure, I'm down. Give me a mech. Uh, so you just got to go. Mech. So you just got to go to the anomaly and unlock it, which I think it's like, I think it's 18 salvage data total. Um, and then you go back and you build it. It's pretty simple. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm struggling with... Why is it so hard to find icons in this game? Okay, there we go. So I'm, I'm heading towards uh, Goofer's second chance. I say we all rally there after we've got what we need. And uh, let's start building some stuff. I already built a rover. Rover was kind of fun. You guys ever mess with a rover in this game? Yeah, oh. I messed around with them, awesome. I think, just back at the... I believe it was the Pathfinder update. Mm -hmm. maybe two years ago that they added the rovers and I messed around with them then. Yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty neato. I, I kind of want to upgrade mine because it's a little slow right now, but I would love to have a, a super fast one. It's a I really don't like walking in this game, even with the jetpack hack. Um, so I'm excited to have a vehicle. I'm excited to see what this mech looks like. So how you guys been? Jakey been okay? Yeah. You know, they're playing, I, I think, well, we said it was two hours in the tutorial, and we probably streamed maybe three hours total of this, but my, my total save time on this, on this new save that we made for Sandbox is like 14 hours now. Wow. Um, yeah, I think I'm only at like six or seven. Yeah, I'm at seven. You been playing anything else, Jake? Um, I, I did finally go through, I took some time and I went through the, um, that uh so the um that social justice bundle that itch did yeah. yeah um and i downloaded like 13 games that i didn't already own because there were like a dozen that i i actually already had in in various libraries mm -hmm. um but i've not played any of them yet i've downloaded them and i'm i'm looking forward to working my way through them oh yeah that sounds cool yeah back when that first came out i did that and i have a giant folder on one of my hard drives that is all the itch.io games i downloaded from the thing and like well, tabletop I, games and rule books yeah i didn't realize that there was like there was like role-playing stuff and like asset packs and yeah, there. there's a lot of asset stuff. packs yeah i want to uh use them for something but i lack skills well you got after effects that's true i could do something in that um that brings up a good point. Is there a proper way to pronounce itch.io? Because I always say itch.io. I say itch.io. I just I leave off the io. I just, I just say, say itch. Itch. Yeah. itch. Yeah. I've heard I've heard people say itch.io, which I think that's too much. Um, okay. Let's see. There's yeah, I think it, saying itch.io is like saying battle.net or bungie.net. You're just saying the yeah. Thing. You should really just be saying Battle.net. Battle.net.net? Yes, that's right. Yeah, my favorite website. I was on a domain registry website, and I went to Battle.net, 
and it was like, hey, do you want to send them an offer? <laughs> I was like, I wonder how much oh, money I'd have to offer Blizzard Activision to be like, to actually have them read the email. <laughs> how much did that guy want for subpixel.com? $25,000. 20? Oh, yeah, 25. I think it's 25. Yeah. But it, but it has a lot of worth to me. <laughs> sure it does. <laughs> Yeah. He's like a baron sitting in a castle. <laughs> what would you pay for it? Yeah. I mean, he's not wrong. That's probably about what it's worth. But at the same time, like, we were not coming to him as a company trying to buy this domain, you know? I found a great, uh, when I was researching Ultima stuff, this website, moongates.com, and it is straight out of the 90s where it's like Ultima tools and tips. It plays mm -hmm. music right when you get there. It's It's fantastic. Um, and it just it gave me a desire to own old websites. You know, I wonder if... I mean, I know Flash is going away, but I wonder how difficult it is to make a new old website. Um, I mean, it was all just HTML layout rather than CSS, right? <laughs> well, yeah, but they also had things like frames. Oh, that's true. You know... So yeah, that oh. could be interesting to do this that. Rover's got some chunky wheels. Oh yeah. It's pretty chunky. Okay, so I'm slowly making what I need for this. Uh oh, where's the... I have seen the size of the mech, and it is pretty big. But I've got to get these. Uh... Uh, Ian, where do I buy the mech thing on the anomaly? It's the like research tech guy. He's in the back on the left hand side. Oh, I see. You right, you right, you right. Yeah, and then it's like the transportation tab, something like that. I need more research information apparently i only had three i couldn't buy like anything okay let's see can i make oh neato oh i'm so close Technology. Recharge. <laughs> oh, your technology is recharge, man. Oh, I think I, 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 of, of all the kind of like justifiable mechanical criticisms that this game received when it first launched, I I want there to be an option to turn off that robot voice because <laughs> it's anytime you do anything. Yeah. And I would like it to be maybe I opt in to hearing it. Yeah. What's that? Okay. I gotta go. Ooh, Jake, you know what? I had a question earlier, and I figured you would know the answer. I hope so. so. Okay, so I know that if I go to the Discoveries tab, I can see the other planets in the system. Is yes. there a way from that menu to then be like, hey, put a pin on this planet? Um, I, sorry, um, you might be able to, I know when you're just re regularly flying, if you hold square on something, it will set a custom waypoint. So I don't, but I don't know if you can do it from that tab. That's a good question. I've never tried it. Okay. Cause I was trying to earlier and it didn't really seem like it. Let me try. Let me try again. Discoveries Am I at the right place. Did you set up your base next to this like other random building? Yeah. Is it called Goofer Second Chance? Yeah. I just don't remember it being right here. Yeah, you put the computer over there, but I think 
I guess it is all right there. The sentinels are investigating it. Yeah, there's always been a butt ton of sentinels there. Yeah, I think it's I think it's the sentinels next to the building. Yeah, I don't know how to tag a planet, so it's just hard to, to navigate. You just sit. Hmm, I don't know. This guy's speaking French on this uh, anomaly. I want no part of it. Somebody tried to be like, join my group, let's play together earlier. And I was like, haven't you heard? This game doesn't have multiplayer. And then I left. Oh, just kidding. Uh, but I did not want to play with a rando. <laughs> That would have been funny though if you were like, ah, we can, yeah, once they patch in multiplayer, sure. <laughs> and just play it dead serious. Yeah, that's a pretty good joke. Oh, whose pin is that over there? There's a, oh, my grave is over there. That's terrifying. Um, by the way, if you need paraffinium, this other planet, Sudbo Omega, has paraffinium on it. I may just put a teleporter down over here, just so we can easily get to it. Smart. Wicked smart. Wicked smart. Hey, Will, do you say that? Wicked? Yeah. I say wicked a lot. Not anymore as much. Growing up a lot. I uh, noticed you say retarded, and I just chalked that up to you being from Massachusetts. Yeah, it's probably. <laughs> it's probably. <laughs> yeah. Everybody else has given up on that word except for people from Massachusetts. <laughs> yeah, wicked. And the other thing, like, with wicked is it's, it's not... I always see like movies misuse it and stuff. It, it's always like, oh man, that's wicked cool. That's like, it, people always like replace it with like, oh man, that's wicked. It's like not how it's used. Yeah. It's it's like a, it's a modifier. Yeah. Like, funny. Can I ask you something? Do I have a Baltimore accent? Um, probably. I can't really recognize it. Yeah, that's because I, th there is a Baltimore accent, but it's like, very very rare to meet somebody who has it and then i've heard somebody tell me before that they could tell i'm from baltimore and i was like i don't think so because i've only granted i've lived here 10 years but it was like i did not really grow up here you know yeah yeah it's like whenever i go to like places with very different accents they're like yeah you got a you got an accent i'm like Do I? oh yeah I that's that's fair yeah, because it's it's more that it's less that you have an accent. It's more that it's a harsh uh, contrast to their own. Yeah. Like when we went to Iceland. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't understand anyone. Or even just going to, I don't know if you guys have been to Arkansas, but I'm going to give you a taste of the Arkansas accent. I'm going to be clear. This is 100% legitimate. How this close is, not is it an to Kentucky? It's just across the river, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, but it's uh, Kentucky. Their accent doesn't seem as thick. Arkansas accent is like Eastern Kentucky is really thick. It's like, well, y'all want to throw some catfish in the fryer? And have ourselves a little cookout here. Get yourself on up into the big house. Have a little soda pop. Like it's that thick. It's real thick. And everybody there has that accent. It's crazy. Oh, that's really good. Okay, all right, I'm gonna. First thing I'm gonna do is put down a base pooter. Oh no. Portable. Base pooter. What are you building another base computer? Yeah, because I want to be able to teleport to this paraffinium planet a little bit easier. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to call this... I still need to build an exocraft terminal. Yeah, but that that spawns a mech with it. Yeah, I just don't I don't have it. OK. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna play this game a bunch. Try to b between this week and next week. Yeah, we gotta talk about what we want to do for next next week. If that makes sense. We can. I mean, like you suggested, we could just f fuel up, get a bunch of hyper hyperdrive cells, and just blaze our way towards the core and see where see how far we get. Oh gosh. Yeah, because we do want to do core. What what else do other people want to do? We we've still got living ships we could try to do, but that requires doing enough daily missions to get the special currency to buy to buy the eggs. What's the special currency? Quicksilver, which I think is only available from the daily missions on the anomaly. Oh. Do you know how much it takes? Three thousand. Oh, okay, I've got one fifty right now. So so maybe somebody takes that. I mean, we can figure this out later. Somebody takes that, they grind a bunch. Somebody else tries to make it as close to the core as possible, and then we load into their save when we do core stuff. Sure. Daddy's, Daddy's gonna make nano dupes. Which, which base am I going to? Goofer's second chance. Okay. Do we have what? What's the canonical origin of that character? I can't remember what stream that was from, or that if it was, was from a scam. Uh, it's Roller Coaster Tycoon oh, Two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure what triggered it, but Will said Goofer Sutherland <laughs> instead of Kiefer Sutherland, and oh, Udoki, that was good. That was <laughs> that was a good one. Uh, yeah, this is my brother Goofer. I brought him, you know on the set. <laughs> He's just going to be in the background. Man, 45 seconds to get uh, get over there. Yeah, you ever you ever notice they cover loading with that? <laughs> like, if you're paying attention, you're really, like, speed is going up and down a little bit. While you're uh, going towards something. object detected. What does that even mean? Ooh, what is it? I don't know. I, I stopped. Oh man, I gotta buy a terrain manipulator. Apparently, I have a grave that's two hours away. Oh, there's nothing here. All right. Hey, Kyle, how about you? Uh, you been playing anything? No, this week was just super, super busy with work, so I haven't really had time. We're uh, transitioning our website to WordPress, so it's been a whole thing. So oh, this is the yeah. first time I've had to relax. Well, that's good. Um, what about you, uh, William Crispers? Uh, I have been playing uh, Elix, which is... Uh... RPG that uh, Ian and I did a duo impressions of many moons ago, uh, which oh, is pretty wait fun. Wait a minute, is that the one that was like felt like it was from early two thousands Xbox? Yeah, it was the one with the jetpack. Yeah, it was like fantasy jetpack. Yeah, it's by the guys who made Gothic. Yeah, that's so it's the like one. so it's like really good mechanics and systems and everything, but the voice acting and the graphics are where it really kind of suffers. Yeah. Yeah, um, but I, I'm giving it a second chance because a lot of people said it's really good, um, and I've been I've been giving a lot of games with good mechanics second chances when it comes to graphics and all that sort of stuff, especially like the fact that I play a lot of Dwarf Fortress and ASCII art games, so mm -hmm. just there for the fun. Um, and then there's something else I was playing. Oh, I started playing Doom Eternal. Oh, how's that? Which, um, I see what they were going for with the whole loot thing of getting ammo, armor, and health, mm -hmm. but boy, is it not fun. <laughs> it's oh, just, really? I'm constantly out of ammo, I'm constantly low on health, and you're constantly looking for both. And uh, as someone who didn't use the chainsaw that much in the first game, except when you wanted to be cool. The fact yeah. that you have to like always use it and always use like the flame belch and always use it's just like really, really stressful. 
Yeah. But, uh, what difficulty? Other than that, it's pretty fun. The what was that? What difficulty are you playing on? Um, the, the uh, probably one above. It would be normal. One above easy. I don't remember if they changed from from uh, Classic Doom or not. It's probably hurt me plenty. Yeah, I think it has hurt me plenty. Um, but it is... I think it's the last go last Goom. Yep, it's the last Goom. It's the last Doom game I need to play uh, uh, to have played all of them. Well, so, congratulations. Thanks. It's a journey I didn't know I was on. Yeah, I, until I, I was um a little rare in that i was not a big fan of doom 2016 i, I thought it was good but it just felt a lot like walk forward a, arena with a bunch of uh enemies spawn kill them all walk forward you know it didn't seem that yeah the design didn't seem the the encounter design did not seem that creative yeah. and i really like doom one and two um i've been uh, for a while, uh, probably back in April or June, you know, three weeks ago, um, mm -hmm. I played, uh, I was playing, I was downloading a bunch of, uh, gosh, what are the map files called? Wads. Wads. I was downloading a bunch of random wads and installing them through ZDoom and, like, playing those and seeing what people were making. And li literally came across a post where they're like, don't try to play a lot of don't try to play all the wads because there's too many. You'll never play them all. Oh yeah. Oh, great. You know, it'd be and fun to, I, um, to make your own wad. That would be cool. Yeah, I started doing that a little bit, but fell off because probably something else came up. Uh, like every project, I try to start. Um, and I, I think I played. Can't remember if I started Sigil or not. Um, which What's... is the. What the John that? Romero sixth chapter. Sixth oh. chapter, I think, to Doom. He made a couple of years ago. But, yeah. That's Wait about it. You need ammo for the bolt caster? Yeah, bro. That sucks. Yeah, bro. Ugh. Um, you don't want like... more item management? Ugh, listen, Jake, I'm trying to be nice to this game, all right? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, uh, I I don't think I've been playing anything. I think I've just been hopping in No Man's Sky. That, you know, similar to all y'all's, I've been... Daddy been busy, you know? Yeah. We shot a lot of footage this weekend, which is great. Yeah, that was fun. Well, I mean, I've been... I wouldn't go that far, but... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've been putting flooring uh, in my new office, which definitely wasn't a lot of fun. Ow! Ow! <laughs> ow! Um, I didn't think this one would actually hurt you. <laughs> I didn't think shooting a laser in your face would hurt you. <laughs> um, been doing a bunch of flooring, uh, and I got all that done. And then I've set up the couch and everything, and now I have to buy... Uh, streaming gear but stupid b and h is closed for the week so gotta wait on that why don't you just buy it from like not b and h um i could yeah. do that but the fact that i can just drive and pick everything up and not have to worry about shipping and delivering yeah that's true for um, some expensive stuff yeah yeah it's a large amount of stuff so I'd rather just do that it's so close. Ow. I need cobalt. Okay, so let's, if you guys want to gather at Goofer Second Chance, I am about to pop this mech. Give birth. Well, yeah. We also have Goofer's paraphernalium is set up if you need some paraffin. Or whatever it is, paraffinium. Paraphernalia. Hey, you know what? We can do. We can play Factorio for Sandbox, right? Because we haven't done it for Sandbox yet. <laughs> yeah. I just love Factorio so much. God, that's a great game. It is a great game. I started replaying it, and I was like, I have to stop. I can't. I can't stick this amount of time right now. But you know what? If we do play it for Sandbox, I think our goal is. What is the main goal? It's like 1,000 science per minute. 
is like yeah, kill each other. A community goal, I think. Uh, I still want to play. Uh, what is happening? I still want to play Seven Days to Die. That one's very enjoyable. Does that actually? Is that actually? Uh, um, does that work as a? You know what I'm saying? As a sandbox? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Is it though? Is it? What do you mean? Is it? Because it's got to have crafting. It's got to have building. Yeah. There's more building than this game did at launch. Oh, it does? I thought it was just like run based. No, it's not run based at all. It's all. It's pretty much Minecraft as far as crafting. What, what, what's the other? What's the game we were talking about the other day that is run based for Dead by Daylight? Got it. There's too many mediocre horror games right now, okay? But that's, yeah, that's just a straight multiplayer match. Yeah, but what I'm saying is somebody who barely pays attention to any of them, they all, they, they are, they've all blended together for me. Yes, all video games do blend together. But when you put it that way, you're not wrong. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, they're very different video games. <laughs> that's I the mean, only reason I say yeah. that. But, I mean, we are playing Star Citizen right now. I mean... Man's guy. I mean, yeah. I'd argue that this is very different from Star Citizen. <laughs> you know, That's my point, I would Jay. argue this, it's not that this, different now that I think about it. It's, it's at least more <laughs> more complete. I didn't mean to start this. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You know, honestly, Jake, I'm not sure I would argue that either. <laughs> now that well, I think about it. Then I will say, in this game's defense, it's made by like 20 people, as opposed to whatever the dev team on yeah, Star Citizen yeah. is. The No Man's Sky dev team isn't sitting on $300 million. No, Excuse I don't know how me. much Sony gave them, but I'm sure it's not that much. $330 million, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Man, that was a, just a comparison we ended up going into there. Uh, well, did you say you need more I was cobalt? only saying that because that's the difference between Seven yeah. Days to Die and... Uh, cobalt? Yes, any cobalt. Yeah, if you come back to the base, there's plants all around it that have a bunch of cobalt. Oh, I was looking for it to depose it. Yeah, uh, I made that mistake. Well, I don't want to say mistake, but I made that assumption earlier, and then I ended up just finding these plants that are everywhere, and they have so much cobalt. I'm scanning. Okay, all right, folks. I promise. We're almost there, boys. It's okay, we only have two people watching. Yeah, me and you. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Uh -oh. Okay. Why is my internet? Okay. All right, let me build this. This music is peaceful. I just went through an entire mountain with my landing sequence. Oh no, wait, what is this? I am finally on my way down to the surface to build something. Uh, I have an exocraft. Whoa! I'm hopping in, boys. I'm gonna fly in and shoot it with rockets. Oh no, why? Why why am I okay, look. If you gentlemen will excuse me, I'm gonna criticize this game for about two seconds. The camera is it. so close that the mech is taking up half of my screen. It's it's so difficult. Why, why did they do that? First person? I mean, I guess I could, but why would they do that? Because the there's a whole cockpit. But I mean You can't say that on stream. Yeah, oh, sorry. there's a whole dick pit. Is that better? Oh, no. <laughs> That's somehow worse. Pe penis pit will be anatomically correct. Oh no. Yeah, people can't. You know what's called that. the cockpit because they used to put chickens in there. I did not know that. Nor do I 100 percent believe. I, yeah, I, I'm not sure about that one. Yeah, because they used to test airplanes with chickens. So it was the pit where they would throw the chickens in. I don't, Again, it's I, I'm not believing impossible. it. Yeah. Uh, guys, uh, don't build a mech. These mechs are not good. These mechs are real <laughs> bad, actually. They're kind of just awful. <laughs> it's slower than walking. And oh. as far as I could tell, it did not give you any weapons or anything with it. I mean, you can upgrade it. 
Oh, I, I got I got a, a pretty decent jump, but yeah, I do want to get. They're supposed to be really good, like fast, like dirt bike, like dirt hover bike. You can get. Nope, oh, didn't mean to shoot you. Uh, yeah, what plan? I, I took like one percent damage from that. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Let me let me let me head towards them. That's salt. Ooh. Carbone. Carbone. Uh, okay, up here, you see this ridge I'm facing? You see the, the conical plants right in front of the ridge? That's all cobalt. Which, which person are you? I'm in the mech. <laughs> the only oh, there person you go. It, in the it, giant it, robot. It, you're literally not tagged. <laughs> um. Yeah, so it's right here, these plants. Okay. <laughs> I'm in the I'm in which person are you? I'm in the mech. Alright, I'm gonna go try and get some upgrades for my my exomech. Hey listen, Sentinels, come on. Ow. Let's go to Um, I love that you can just cheese the reactor by like putting three seconds of fuel in it, and as long as you have opened the teleporter window while the while the fuel is still there, then you're yeah. okay. <laughs> it makes me feel good where I'm like, you know what? I don't like this system, but I can abuse it. <laughs> so maybe it's okay now. All right. As long right. as it benefits you. Yes. As long as the game's bugs benefit me. Then it's a feature. Yes. So what are some other sandbox games? We've got Factorio. We've got Seven Days to Die. To die. That's yeah. the one? That's, that's not a joke. That's legitimately, I already forgot the Lego name. Worlds yet? Yeah. Jake, have you played Lego Worlds? Yes. It's real bad, Jake. It's really bad. We played it at 3 a.m. on Extra Life Year. I wasn't saying anything otherwise. I was just asking if you had it's played it. It's so bad, Jake. It's really, really bad. <laughs> and we, we played Lego Island on the same stream, and I had more fun playing yes. that. <laughs> yes. Lego, Lego Island's a classic. It's solid. Yeah, I love Lego Island. Yeah, it is a very good game. Yeah. Mindscape knew what they were doing. Oh, but um, man. Yeah, we tried to play it at like 3 a.m. It was one of those games where we're like, we'll play this when we're tired because we'll have a lot of fun messing around with it and maybe we'll get sucked into like building stuff. And it, we were out in like 10, 15 minutes. It, it was it was not good. The, the controls yeah, the, were the, just real the bad. The free building mechanics could have been implemented a lot better. Yeah. Who is upsetting the Sentinels? They mm. shot at me. Oh, so here's the top tip. When it says they're investigating, just freeze. Don't do anything. And then they'll go away after like two seconds. Uh. Um, what was that? We were talking about. Oh, sandbox games. Uh, I was gonna say Conan Barbarians or Conan Exiles. That's what it's called, not Conan Barbarians. Oh, oh but are are we? I thought we couldn't play that because it's got nudity in it. I uh, I mean you can turn it off. But I don't oh, want to turn why it would off. You want <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> but at least the person streaming can turn it off. Got it. That game's very good. I've had many an hour dragging slaves back to my lust pits. You know, that could be another Ooh. reason why we can't play it, <laughs> but I'm willing to give it a shot. Um, I, yeah, that game's actually pretty good. <laughs> I heard that. I've heard of that, yeah. Um, I'm on this planet. Or anomaly. Okay, I got some upgrades, so let's go. Let's go upgrade some my mech. I just, I don't get what the mech's for. I'm gonna put a cannon on it, but what do I shoot at? Sentinels? I don't understand. Um, I think they, they're, um, they have better environmental protection. Cause I was reading the, uh, like announcement. Like you can oh. bring it to, uh, a hot like planet. harsher planets. And you can land on the sun too with them. I, again, the, the second detail, I'm not sure I believe you. <laughs> yeah. 
Just That's why I only listen to the first part of what he says. After that, it's Unless just they, because there was Ian's a... dumb, and uh, so is Will. I remember back in 1.0, um, because one of those, the classic in that long Reddit thread of things Sean Murray said would be in the game that then weren't in the game, was the concept of uh, traveling from star to star without warping, and that it would just, oh, it would just take a really long time, but you could still do it. Um, somebody tried to do that. They tried to warp or just like fly out to a, a sun, and um, turns out it's just a skybox object. So you'd hmm. get close enough to it, and it would start to do that thing where once you're far enough away from like the point of origin, and everything starts to just crumble. So unless they patched that out, William, yes, if it's... I don't think you can get to a star. Mm, pretty sure I read it. Hmm. My my friend uh, my friend Carl at school, he said. That Who's you can do it. Whose uncle works for Nintendo? <laughs> no, his uncle works for Sean Murray. You idiot. Ah, uh, my bad. If you actually sat here at pulse or at regular speed, do you think would it actually take two weeks to get to the place? Do you think that? I I think that's so. realistic. I would not be. I think. Of of all the stuff, the scale I think is pretty solid. Gotcha. The scale of the galaxy. Oh, there's a freighter. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised if it took. It's a freighter. Two, what is it? Do, what is it doing? It's probably it's mine. Just, just the one right the, above the base. Uh, yeah, it is. You have a freighter. I want to get. Yeah, it. and I bought it Don't with cash freighter, money. Will? I didn't get it for free like some people. No, yeah. I have a. No, I have a. I have like a capital ship. You have a freighter. And frigate. No, freighters are different. I don't know. It says your capital are. ship, but it's a freighter. I thought freighters were like the really, really, really big ones. You can get really, really big ones, but even the small ones are still freighter. Yeah, I think there's only uh, two. There's only two types. There's a frigate and there's a freighter. I thought freighters, freighters were different. Well, I have landed in your freighter. Thanks. I see you. Welcome. <laughs> Does it have That's a name? No, I haven't decided what to rename it. That other ship in the back is mine, too. That's my fighter. Oh, Ian. Yes. Well, this was something that came up on the previous stream. I bought this this uh, fighter that came with a um, launch thruster upgrade that regenerates launch thruster fuel when your ship isn't in use. Oh, that does sound good. But I've not yet found a place to buy it. It just came with the ship, so it's out. That upgrade is out there, but uh -huh. I don't know how to get it. Gotcha. Um. Oh no, the anomaly is not around, is it? I gotta go spawn the anomaly. I need to. I can put a cannon on my mech. You know what? Screw that. I don't care about my mech anymore. It's crap. I'm gonna. I'm gonna buy a better rover. Jake, I think I'm annoying all the people in your bridge. That's okay. They're they're, they're not union, so they can't. <laughs> they can't. <laughs> they're all looking at me, and then they 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 do that arm gesture where it's like, "What are you doing?" Yeah, they know that you're not me. You're a usurper. I'm just better. I haven't built a brig yet, so I can't throw you in it. You know what <laughs> I really like in this game is the space anomaly. How it just pops in, and it's like pretty seamless. You going from your game to a shared social space that's that's awesome that's really well done the anomaly before multiplayer was implemented you was encountered randomly um, mm. and it was uh not as huge on the in it was not as huge on the inside as um the the multiplayer one is it was just those two the mm -hmm. the robot guy and the tiny buddy and gotcha. they would give you stuff oh, that's my favorite movie I am at some weird uh, spatial anomaly if any of you want to warp to me oh you know what yeah give me give me two seconds I'm yeah it's showing me that you're on the planet still oh no I'm I am not I'm in space it keeps There's marking those thing. those uh Paw, the like berry treasure as it keeps last time I played it marked it as Ian every time mm. and the time before that it marked it as or now it marks it as Jake 
not sure why. Yeah, I will just pulse engine to you guys then. Exocraft upgrades. Oh, so I can I can mine with the mech, but it's like I can also mine with my exocraft. <laughs> oh, I I bought the research for a uh, automatic miner. Oh, I'll try that. Yeah, what does that do? I don't know. What does it Ooh. do, Will? I think it automatically mines things. You should try that out. Yeah, I don't know. See, the mech lets you mine and put cannons on it the same as the other stuff. I just don't understand why you would... It's so slow. Anyways. Well, uh, for the first time since No Man's Sky 2.0, my game crashed. Oh, no. I'll hop back in in a sec. I, um, I have enemies attacking me. I don't know how active the saves are in multiplayer, so it may put me back on the surface of the planet I was on. Or in my well, freighter, I think was the last thing I was in. Oh, so you may not have your... Uh... No, I didn't. I didn't. I was flying to the space station, and I encountered some weird anomaly. Gotcha. thing in space. But Okay, all right. Joining Got water. it. I found it. I found it, Jake. It's it's an upgrade that you can research for nanite clusters under at the anomaly. The the ah. automatic the launch system recharger. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's smart. You should, you I've not smart. I've not put launch fuel in that ship since I got it. I think I, I found a planet that had a whole bunch of uh, uranium, so I've just kind of been running around with that. Okay, let's see. Okay. I don't want that. Okay. So... What do you guys want to do for this stream? <laughs> now that we're 40 minutes into it. <laughs> I, okay, I, I'm, when you're flying and it says like deep space object detected, whatever, and it counts down, do you slow down at one or do you slow down immediately? At any point before it reaches zero, you can- uh, yeah, I think, yeah, I think the countdown that is, is you problem. flying past it. Yeah. Gotcha. I thought it was countdowning to encounter. No. Until yeah, it's until you pass it. Yeah, that, that makes more sense. Um, we could get the uh, the race point blueprints, and we could do like a, a rover race. Yeah, maybe. I'm just trying to think of what's we. I think we have two episodes left, right? At least one episode is living ship, and the final episode is. Um, Black hole. Yeah, yeah, black hole to the center. Um, so what else do we... be a lot of traveling. Well, I think if we travel, we can get closer off stream. You know. What am I doing? Yeah, I've, I've gone through two black holes since we played last time, so I don't, I don't know how close I am, but we could off stream, we could figure out who's closest based on yeah. our mileage. Or I guess I could check. No, because I'm not in that system right now. I'll check later. Oh, I'm on an extreme hazard planet. Oops. Oh my god, there's so many, there's so many, so many menus in this game. 
Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Jake, you may be able to answer this. So I just purchased some upgrades for my Exocraft, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. I mean, they're not, in are they installed automatically? Uh, no, you should see them either in your Exosuit inventory or your ship inventory, depending on where you purchase them. And you then you can install them to your Exocraft when it is summoned. I don't, I don't, I don't see that. You have to be, I think, in the mech or near the mech to install. I'm next to it. Let me get in it and see if that changes. Because I don't, I don't even see them. But I definitely spent the nanites on them. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I haven't messed around with the Exocraft in this update yet. Um, but I know that it used to be like when you go into your uh, your interface for the storage and everything and you can build yeah. stuff, build items or install technology and it should install from there. Because I've done that before. But now it's not here. Oh, sorry, I'm, I missed a chat message where Zach just said Conan. Yeah, he's a big Conan O'Brien fan. Yeah, huge. He's got him tattooed on his left cheek. I feel like I just got gypped by this game. What in tarnation? I mean, unless it just automatically did it. Gosh darn it, inventory, inventory full, inventory full. Whoa. So Jake, you said that the Quicksilver comes from daily missions? I think daily missions on the Anomaly can okay. get you Quicksilver. So how do you do uh, qu Quick... Huh? How do, you, how do you get the daily missions? It's one of, I think, from the from like the main landing area, I believe that it's in one of the kiosks off to the right. Okay. Um, it's it's a booth with an NPC that has missions. I think that's where it is. I've not spent a ton of time on the anomaly because I, I prefer just free exploring. But. Gotcha. Fair point. Oh no. Okay, you happy now? I made room in my inventory for you. Yeah, speak your dumb language. All right, guys, I got another dumb question. How, 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 how do you, I mean, I guess, how do you get carbon if you Ooh, don't, have, if you don't have the mining beam? With a gun? You can hit it also with Q. Or you can melee it, yeah. Oh, to get okay. like 1% or 2% and then get the rest of it. Skim. Okay. Gotcha. Worst worst case scenario, you would go to the space station and buy some. Yeah, I, I remember finding myself in that situation before. Alright, I am heading back to the surface. Nighttime. Is it nighttime on everybody's? Yes. I'm on the station. Mm. 
nighttime all the time in space, or daytime all the time in space. Which is it? Yeah, yeah, no. Um, can you repeat the question? <laughs> I mean, I think it's it... always nighttime or always daytime in space. It's never night, but it's always not day. I think it depends on if you're near a, a sun or not. If you can see, I think it's proximity and occlusion. That doesn't sound like the right word. What if? I mean, I, I mean. Yeah. Use your words, baby boy. I can't take off. There we go. Maybe it depends on your what planet you're near. That's Local true. time. If you're near a nighttime planet, then it's nighttime. Because right. you're in a spaceship. This fancy in space. bike rover. Ooh. Oh, is that the Nomad? The Pilgrim. Oh, that's Pilgrim. If you if you were just in space by yourself and you're spinning around, it would be really fast night and day. Like, really fast night and day? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's depending on how fast you spin it. How fast do you have to go? 20. 20? 20 hole. Will, that's a lot of speed. That's so much speed. That's too much speed. Yo, this thing drifts. Hold on, I'm gonna try to do like a lap around the base. Yeah. I can't even. Okay, now I got you. Ooh, that's good. That's pretty good looking. Just four boys. Mining a planet. Wait, is this game racist? Excuse me? It does. Are, are you conflating that with the idea that we are essentially space colonialists? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think we can mine an entire planet down to the core? Uh, now, that's I an episode think... worth doing. <laughs> that would be a question of do these planets actually have cores? And I believe, if my memory of playing this game is correct, that at some point you will reach, similar to Minecraft, a, a impenetrable layer. Because um, I, I remember trying to mine my way through a mountain on mm -hmm. like a, it was like a blizzard planet or a toxic uh... planet or something, and I was just trying to like make myself a tunnel so that I didn't have to go over the huge mountain. And at some point I got to a, a, a place within the mountain where there was an impenetrable layer parallel with the surface of the planet that I could not get through. Jeez. But that wow. was in the last update, or that was in the previous like version. But even if that layer's one. there, do you think we can mine a whole planet down to that layer? And eventually, significantly make the planet smaller. Eventually, though, I, I, I would rather try that with a moon than a planet yeah, as a right. test. Do it subject. with the sun. With the a skybox star. object. Hey, remember when they called the star the sun in Force Awakens? The harness the power of the sun. Yeah, I hated that part. I don't think that's that big a deal, though, is it? Remember every, when every planet was a Sith mystery? I do. Remember when Jar Jar Binks showed up? I, I remember hey. all these things. I, I, I remember Jar -Jar. them very vividly. <laughs> Whether for ill Do you guys remember good. when Finn and... Finn and uh, what's his Poe kissed? <laughs> uh, that's in, in my Jake version. Yes. Do you remember when... Do you remember when Ray killed Chewbacca? <laughs> <laughs> that one's not in. I don't know what version that's from. The canon um, one. <laughs> Zach just posted. It's true, all of it. Oh my god, they've it ruined Star Wars. Wars. The best the thing, all true. The best thing we got out of the Disney Star Wars films were the trailers. 
the Matthew McConaughey reacting to the Force Awakens trailer. Yes. That scene from Interstellar. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Danny's when got a Nomad. When is the next Star Wars time movie? that you think, well, I'm, I don't know when the next Star Wars movie is going to be. I'm it's hoping be Taika's movie, right? No. I don't know if that's going to be the next one or not, because... Like, do y'all remember movie theaters? Because I'm starting to forget what that experience isn't, was Isn't like. Ryan Johnson still working on one? I thought I saw Can recently that he is. They, they, they said, I don't think he is. I think it would it would be too volatile of a decision for... Yeah, yeah And plus, that. Kathleen Kennedy's contract is up in 2021, so... Yeah. Did yeah. you guys see um, Regal reclosed all of their stuff yes. today? Yeah. yeah. Which is pretty crazy. I mean, yeah. it's a smart move. Well, oh, yeah. I just mean, it's sad that it's unfortunate yeah. oh, that they're in that position. You yeah. want to hear my you want to hear my I... hot take? I think this is good for the movie industry because it was moving way to way too much towards big budget movies, and this is a good way of basically reining in movie costs by causing studios to kind of roll back on blockbusters for a bit because they're not going to get as much of a return on it. Yeah, I did. Um, I subbed for another teacher's. Um, uh, classes on Wednesday, and it was um, it was an older high school class, but it was a bunch of students who I had like several years ago that I was now you know in a class with them again. And one of them asked if I had gone. They were like, "Hey, did you go see Tenant?" I'm like, "No." Who's who? They're like, "We all yeah, all of them had seen it, and they'd all gone to movie theaters." I'm like, no, no, not in Florida. No. Especially. Why would you do that? Yeah. They were all surprised that I had not gone to see a movie since whenever it was Invisible Man came out. Mm. Oh, hey, Jake, you know what? That reminds me. Invisible Man? No, I got a bone to pick with you. Uh-oh. Oh, because you told me that uh, Birds of Prey, the uh, fantabulous emancipation of Harley Quinn, I think is the mm -hmm. full name, was an Oscar-worthy movie, and I did not even finish it. It was not did good. I, did you, I use those words? I guess when, you did. When did I'm I say that? Sure you did. I'm pretty <laughs> sure you did, because we talked about how bad the DC movies were, and Suicide Squad. In comparison to all the other DC but then movies, you said, I would argue that you it said is. Birds of Prey was um, actually really good and an Oscar-worthy movie, and I was like, oh, maybe I'll watch it then, and then I finally did, and it was not good. Man. I still maintain that it's it's very fun, especially in the wider canon of the DC films. It's it's all right. Mm -hmm. It's way better than Suicide Squad, which is an Oscar. Oh win. yeah. Oh, did it? What did it win for? Makeup. Makeup. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it didn't win. <laughs> is what you're Jared, saying? Jared Leto's makeup won that film an Oscar. <laughs> um, yeah, I I could see people liking that. I, I, I'm not. It it just the whole shtick they were doing is rub me it's, real I, I think that is the thing that if you, if you don't yeah. buy the shtick yeah. you're not gonna be in it for the long haul yeah the only um, thing that i can pinpoint as like being what i would argue objectively bad is ewan mcgregor's acting in it and i don't think it's his fault i think it's just the director being like hey i need you to give me like 400 percent oh then he, i was gonna say that like i i loved it because he's just like chewing so the scenery all the time <sighs> see it it's didn't, yeah it didn't it didn't feel like chewing the scenery to me it felt like over the top like too much and that 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 really put me off uh, yeah, I loved it. But yeah, I only made it like 45 minutes in. And then I was just like, you know what? I'm an adult. I don't have to finish this. <laughs> no, and I mean, and I do get, I get all the reasons people didn't enjoy it. But I, mm -hmm. I bought the shtick and I was, I, I had fun with it. Um, it was better than Suicide Squad, though, definitely. But what's, so what's going to be, what are the Academy Awards going to look like this year? It's is it what? just gonna be Sonic and the Invisible Man and um and Tenet? American Pickle, wasn't that and the American Seth Rogen Pickle? Movie? And um, what was the Hulu movie that uh, Lonely Island did? That was actually really good. Oh, uh, Palm Springs. Yeah, yeah, that was actually pretty good. And also the latest Bad Boys movie, which apparently oh, is the most right. profitable movie of 2020. I can bad see Boys that. for Life, which yeah. should have been the fourth Bad Boys, not the third Bad Boys. Well, they should have just called it Bad Boys 3 Life. 
Bad Boys 3 <laughs> for bad, life. Bad Boys 3 life. That's a funny joke. Um, yeah, that's a good point. I, I mean, they could just be, I don't think they will. But at the same time, there's definitely a chance of them just being like, we're, we're not going to have it this year. We're going to have a two year ceremony. <laughs> Oh, Which is no, real they, BS. They've done the Emmys. They just did the Emmys. Yeah, the, but those are the Emmys, um, you know. The National Academy of Television Film. Wait, National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences? I forget what the abbreviation is. No, because no, the Oscars are in February, so it's very possible. I don't know. We just. Florida just went into phase three full reopening, so I don't know how California is going to due by February. Oh, you know, they, they does the Oscars still have that stupid rule where it has to play, isn't it something like it has to play at least a week in California in theaters to be eligible? I, it's I, just in, in any theater. I don't think yeah. it has to be in California. And I think they've I discussed, remember. especially this year, lifting or amending that policy. Be, otherwise, yeah. it would just be, you know, five films. Yeah. I want to I wanna look up the wording of that rule because unless they change it, I remember it being like real antiquated stupid because like netflix just bought that theater in new york so that they could technically meet that rule yeah okay wait i think actually in april they lightened the eligibility requirements Uh. Oh, okay, wait, I got to dig into this a little bit more because if I'm reading this article properly, eligible, okay, okay, wait, no, I'm going to, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep looking. Don't you worry, y'all. You keep looking. Kyle, what, what are you using to play No Man's Sky? Because I can see in Discord that, that, uh, Ian and Will, it says playing No Man's Sky, but it doesn't say that you are. I just don't have the game tag system uh, turned on at Discord. It's on yeah. PC. Okay. I was wondering if you were also on the PlayStation. No. I, the only console I own is a Switch. Hmm. It's a good console. It is. Um, All right, where are, are any of you at the base right now? Because I need someone to... I'm, I'm getting better at doing donuts in this thing, and I need someone <laughs> to see it from a different angle because it's somewhat incomprehensible from my view. That's the perfect reason to have someone come back to the base. I'm going to look this up uh, off stream because it turns out there are a lot of articles and none of them are very clear. Um, but I, I will just tease. If, if I'm not mistaken, there was an article saying that they recently lifted the rule that videos, that movies that are streaming are not eligible unless they first premiere in a theater for seven days exclusively before going I think they into streaming. That. I think they changed that. Yeah, they changed that back in April, but that is a crazy rule to have as recently as 2020. Yeah, it looks good. It's like your front wheel is almost stationary in a way. Um, this thing is nimble. I gotta buy some upgrades for it. <laughs> You can go over water, though. Yes. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think, uh, you know, not, not to criticize this game. I'm trying to keep an open mind. I feel like they have added all this quote-unquote cool stuff, but there is just not really any incentive to use it. So, for example, like this rover, it's fun to drive, but wh wh where would I drive to and for what purpose? Yeah, I, I will say there's been a lot of, yeah, like you said, cool new content that's been added. Um, but n it's not yet quite in service to a core yeah. game loop. Where I think if they if they really, if like, what update is this? 3.0? If for 4.0, they do another huge, serious overhaul to single player. Um, mm -hmm. and and really come out with like a, a deep narrative or, or, or something that incorporates all these kind of disparate elements. Yeah. Um, I think that they'll then have something really exceptional. Where right now it's fun and there's fun things to do, especially in a group. Um, but it's that the, the, the base game still is just kind of 
that you know space Zen garden fly around and find something pretty and then fly around and find find something else pretty. Yeah. Um, and I think and I, think I say something... this as someone who really likes the game. Yeah, I think something that would really help is I was I've been thinking about how I don't really care about exploring on a planet versus something like Minecraft where you know I'm always looking at the ridge and being like what's on the other side of that ridge and in this game I don't have that urge and I think part of it is that there is a lot of variety between planets but there is almost no variety on a planet you know if you land yeah. on one part of a planet it's going to look exactly the same everywhere else in that planet so that's why this rover doubly doesn't make sense because it's like okay I'll, I'll do it to go get you know one or two deposits but because it's not as mobile as my spaceship and it's not as easy to take it between planets although i think you can have it attached to your freighter later on it's just like cool tech but there's no real incentive to use it yeah, yeah. and I, I i don't know if that's just the state of like how their engine works that they can't really have different biomes on different planets mm -hmm. um because like I, I totally understand that this is obviously way easier to implement. That each planet just has its one thing. Um, yeah. But yeah, I agree that the the land vehicles, unless you're like sticking around on a specific planet for a certain amount of time. Um, but even that, it's there's ways that you can upgrade your ship where it's not that expensive to just land and, and take off and go fly somewhere else. Um, yeah. 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 I agree. All right, so uh, if you, uh, I mean I don't, I think we end the stream here. There's not really much left for this stream. What do you guys think? Yeah, I'm just gonna keep doing donuts. Um. So yes, yeah, so we're gonna have at least two more episodes of No Man's Sky. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We are Subpixel. You can find us at subpixelfilms.com. That takes you right to our YouTube channel. Um, you can also find us at Subpixel Team on Twitter, Twitch. Facebook and Instagram. Uh, we've got a lot of great content, not just streams, but also edited content. Uh, Jake, what's the most recent video you put up this past Monday? Uh, most recent video was uh, a little look into the history of Alien Isolation because October 6th was the sixth anniversary of uh, Creative Assembly's mm -hmm. Alien Isolation. And uh, it's uh, exciting for, for me as the editor when I see that videos of ours have gotten shared to Reddit, not by any of us, oh, and then get exciting. uploaded, which is fun. Um, yeah, go check it out. It's 13 minutes and two costume changes of me talking about alien isolation. That sounds awesome. Um, yeah. We also have server quest which is ongoing we'll be coming back soon thursday we've got a very exciting stream for you all we're going to be playing star wars squadrons multiplayer in vr that's right it's going to be a very special vr stream what is spoiler is squadrons cross console i don't know I, I, i'll answer you this question for you don't buy it don't spend money on it oh, okay <laughs> oh wow wear my helmet uh, well, you're not gonna be on camera, Will. I'm gonna be on camera a little bit in my brain. Yeah. Yeah, VR streams. Uh, turns out it's complicated, um, uh, streaming yeah. VR. So, we'll get it done. Because you're only one man. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not that, it's that you're, you're having to produce from inside of a VR headset, which is not easy. You know, for example, I have OBS open on my left, so I can periodically look over and be like, stream is up, audio is good, video is good, great. It's much harder to do that inside a VR headset. Um, so that's going to be fun. Saturday, we're going back to Spooky Pixel. That's right, episode two. Oh, my God, you guys missed a doozy. We played Five Nights at Freddy's. What did you think, Will? It was scary. Yeah, it was weird. It was more of a puzzle game than I thought it would be. Yeah. But it was still kind of, it was building up the tension. It's pretty Honestly, nice. Honestly, another half an hour, I think we would have just beaten it. Probably. Yeah. We're doing pretty good. This next uh -uh. one seems spooky. Yeah, it's a spooky itch.io game. Um, so that, that should be a lot of fun. And I'm going to plug it. We're about a month away. We will be doing Extra Life 2020. I'm very excited. We've got a lot of planning and work to do, but it's going to be a 24-hour live stream for charity. Last year, we raised 
$300, and I think our goal this year is $300. We just want to match it. Uh, if you donate above $300, you'll get a refund. Uh, it's not allowed. <laughs> Ian, are you sorry to take away from the serious uh, uh -huh. plug? Are you strafing me? Because I, I just got hit by something that took out most of my shield. No. Um, okay. So we're gonna be we're gonna be having some fun with that. So so keep an eye on that. One month away. Oh god, I'm just I'm so excited. We had a lot of fun last year. It's mm -hmm. gonna be it's gonna be a great time. Uh, Jake, if people don't care about Subpixel and all they care about is you, where can they find you? Uh, I'm on Twitter at underscore Jake Terrio or JakeTerrio.com. Gotcha, Kyle. Wow. Where can people find? Only you. Oh, only me. Uh, Twitter and Instagram at Kyle of the Beard. And William, if people want to block you on Twitter, how would they do that? Uh, you would just go to uh, block at Hunt270. Got it. And if you want more of the star of the stream, that's right, yours truly, at Think Gibson. Just kidding. All I post about is Gundam and Gunpla now. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, I could be watching Gundam now, so let's end this stream. Thank you guys so much for joining. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.